Did you know that over 97% of online experiences start by a search? In fact, there are over 3.5 billion searches performed every day on Google alone. And yet, over 91% of websites do not get any traffic from Google whatsoever. So how do you get free and continuous traffic from search engines? Hi everyone. I'm Gilles Argivier and today I'm going to share with you my starter guide to search engine optimization that will drive tons of free organic traffic to your site. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the alert notification button to get notified on all my new posts. Also, this is part of a three-part mini-series, so if you want to check the other episodes, join my newsletter, go to my website or follow me on my social media channels, the links are in the description below. So what is SEO? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization and is the process of increasing the quality and quantity of website traffic by increasing its visibility to users by the means of a search engine such as Google. SEO excludes all paid results, as well as direct traffic and the purchase of paid placements. So what are search engines? Search engines are algorithms that attempt to provide the most relevant answer to your search online. They go through the web, which is a process called crawling, and assess the content posted using hundreds of various ranking factors. In turn, they rank the content by relevance and save the results in a giant database. This process is called indexing. Search engines make their money from advertising that is displayed on the SERPs that contain both organic and paid results from advertisers. In order to sell more advertising, the search engine's ultimate goal is to answer as well as possible the user's searches in an attempt to make them come back, spend more time on the SERPs, and therefore be faced with even more advertising. So how do search engine scrolling work? Search engines set up multiple robots online, also referred to as spiders or crawlers, to identify new and updated pieces of content. These bots start on a few web pages and then follow the links they find to discover new URLs. Once identified, these new pages are then ranked and get added to the giant database, also referred to as index. So why is SEO important? SEO is so important because over 97% of online experiences start by a search. This is because a search appears way more credible to searchers than paid advertising. In fact, according to research by Mars, SEO has over 20 times more traffic opportunity than paid-per-click advertising also referred to as PPC. In addition, although search engines are getting more and more sophisticated, they still require our help for crawling and indexing process in order to display the most relevant information in the SERPs. So what are the main components of SEO? There are three main categories in SEO. On-page SEO, that concentrates on content optimization. Technical SEO, that helps with crawling and indexing and off-page SEO that heavily focuses on backlinking. You may also have heard about white hat and black hat SEO. So what are white hat and black hat SEO? White hat SEO refers to best practices and strategies providing relevant content to search queries. On the other hand, black hat SEO refers to techniques and strategies aiming at fooling the search engines in order to appear on SERPs, even if the content is irrelevant. Search engines are on the hunt for these practices and have and will continue to shut down down entire sites as a penalty for using these practices. So what are the search engines available? There are many search engines available, but Google dominates by far the market with over 85% market share. Another one is Bing by Microsoft, but no matter the search engines, they all follow similar guidelines and principles. So what are the search engines guidelines? Let's start by the things to do. First, write your content for the searcher, not the search engine. Second, focus on delivering quality content that answer clearly the questions or the requests. Third, make your site engaging and your content easy to find. This is often referred to as user experience or UX. Fourth, ensure your pages load quickly. And that's also part of the UX. Five, be on social media. A social influence has an impact on your ranking in the long run. Six, image SEO practices are also very valuable. You can check out my article about on-page SEO for more details. Seven, use keywords in the URL structures. What are the things to avoid? One, do not exchange links with other sites that are not relevant. This is referred to as link schemes. They ultimately disappoint the user and is being reprimanded by search engines. Second, automatically generated content. Third, duplicate content. Four, keyword stuffing. Five, cloaking, which is a practice of showing different things to search engines and users. 
So that's it for part one of the Search Engine Optimization Starter Guide. If you want to check the other techniques, check out the other episodes on other videos. If you want some help with your digital marketing needs, check out my website at gilargivier.com. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell other people about it. Thank you for watching.